Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah, and this is a coloring book review flip through for A is for Adventure, an alphabet monster coloring book with 26 adventure seeds by Scott Elric. So this is the front cover. Dimensions of this book is nine by nine and a half by 11 inches. This is the front. Here is the back. And there's the spine, and this is the thickness. It's a pretty thick book. Got this from Amazon, and the cost was, I believe, less than ten dollars. Um, this is a uh, Create Space published book, but the paper in this book is the best um, Create Space publication paper that I've seen so far. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Dover coloring books kind of paper. So take that into consideration if you're getting ready to buy this book. And this is a Dungeons and Dragon start adventure kind of book uh, for the RPG game. So this book is really cool and it's designed very uniquely. So let me start the flip through here. Here's the intro page. Uh, the introduction here. And the introduction explains that each of the drawings come with an adventure um, kind of already made for that design. Um, and this is for game masters. Um, it's also for people who like to color. Um, but the purpose of them creating this particular coloring book was for game masters for D20 games um, and Dungeons and Dragons RPG, RPG games. So, for example, um, this has the 26 letters of the alphabet in it, and each adventure starts off with the letter, and it says A is for, and then it will have a name here. Underneath, it's going to tell a little bit about the adventure, um, kind of where it's starting from, a little bit of background about the adventure getting ready to happen. The adventure is listed here in usually a paragraph or two. It will have locations. It will have different twists and things. It might also describe the buildings. And it comes with a little map about where the adventure is taking place. Um, so everything is labeled in here. It's very well done. Um, these numbers in here, like number one here, will have a location number one. So this is a barn. Um, number two right here is a burrow. Number three is a farmhouse. Number four is a river. And number five is King's Road. So it will have different things like that in it. And then it will have the picture that you can color that goes along with the adventure. So every page is done like this. And I think that's very cool. Very unique coloring book. Um, also a plus for the coloring book is that when you turn the page, you have blank pages. So you can write out more of the adventure that you would like to follow in your game or put more details on the back side. Or you can leave it plain because when you turn the page again, each page is single-sidedly printed. Um, so not only is the wording and the map and stuff single-sided, but the coloring page itself is single-sided. So everyone is going to be like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the flip through real quick. This is a glue bound book. I think this one's really neat because um, it, it has a boat on here instead of a, uh, a map, um, kind of a map too, but it's not a, a location map, it's, it's a boat map. And it tells uh, the different levels of the boats, um, the lower deck, main deck, upper deck, and what each one has on that level. I just thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to skip the uh, single blank page between each one and just kind of go on like that. So this would really help any um, Dungeon Master, um, Game Master, Dungeons & Dragon player, 
groups. Um, if you're having trouble coming up with uh, a map or uh, an adventure or a location or anything like that, you can even flip through it and kind of poke your finger down wherever it lands, and, and that could be the one you're doing tonight. You know, um, this is this is a pretty neat one. And these pages for coloring, since they are single-sided, I would still put something between the pages just so that the bleed-through, if you're using um, alcohol markers, won't go through the second page. Um, but these pages would be good for anything. Um, watercolor, be careful. The pages are a little thin for watercolor if you're going to do that. Um, however, alcohol-based markers, anything like that, would be fine because there's nothing on the back pages. They are blank. Just remember to put something between the pages. So again, gel pens, colored pencils, alcohol-based markers, water-based markers, ink pens. Uh, you know, even, even watercolor would be okay if you're very careful and cautious about uh, the water usage that, that you'll be using. So we're at the end of the alphabet now, and there's still a few pages back here, so I'm kind of wondering what's back here. I haven't looked yet. Okay, so it tells a little bit about the creator. And it has an open game license um, in the back of the book as well. There is also a test page, which I am so happy when illustrators and editors and publication people include this. Um, this is great to test out your medium on to see if it will work with the pages in the book or not. So again, this is a flip through review for A is for Adventure Alphabet Monster Coloring Book with 26 Adventure Seeds by Scott Elric. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy coloring.